Welcome to another episode of Nick's Kitchen. Here on Nick's Kitchen, you're watching me, the best chef in the entire world ever, make something brand new that I've never tried making, and I'm probably gonna butcher it. This is shrimp pad thai. You want 15 shrimp, take the tails off, let them soak in a tablespoon of soy sauce, but bam, set them off to the side, let them chill. Add eight ounces of your pad thai noodles to boiling water, and cook them just long enough to soften them up. They should not be all the way cooked, so don't keep them in there long. Take them out, rinse them, let them chill. Not cooked all the way, just softened. For your sauce, you're gonna want a third of a cup of chicken stock. Mix that with three tablespoons of vinegar. You're gonna want two tablespoons of fish sauce. You're gonna want one tablespoon of lime juice and one tablespoon of soy sauce. You're gonna mix all that in with four tablespoons of brown sugar, so it's nice and sweet. And then add in one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can go up to a half a teaspoon, but nothing more. Whisk that all together until it's, uh, it's nice and saucy. It should be a nice blend of sour and sweet, a little bit tangy. Um, you can add more sugar if you need to, more sauce if you need to. Play with it, make sure it tastes good. Two tablespoons of oil added to your pan, cooking on medium. You want three to four cloves of minced garlic and uh, one teaspoon of um, shredded ginger. And that's gonna go in your pan. Stir fry it for about a solid minute. Then start smelling it, it'll smell delicious. After about a minute, you're then gonna add your shrimp that have been sitting in soy sauce. Stir them around for about two to three minutes, right there. Then you're gonna add in, uh, you're gonna push it all to the side, add in a little bit of oil, crack one egg. Do it one-handed if you're a real chef. Again, I'm the best chef in the universe, so don't try to be like me in your first try. Um, then blend it all together, add your pad thai noodles. Now cook eight ounces at a time. I doubled it and it's way too much for the pan. You're gonna add your sauce. So if you cook the correct amount, eight ounces of noodles, only add in three fourths of the sauce. Keep one fourth aside and then just add it on periodically as you continue turning it. But because I doubled it and there's way too many noodles, I had to go and make a second batch of sauce. I had to double everything. Then you just cooking everything on medium still, you just add in like two to three, um, pieces of green onions. You can uh, add in some oven roasted unsalted peanuts and then cilantro. Now, I hate cilantro. I did not know what cilantro tasted like. I regret putting it in. It's disgusting. So I'm never gonna use cilantro again. If you do use it, my advice is only use a tiny little bit of it. But yeah, mix it around and ba -ba bam, you're good to go. It's pretty awesome stuff, not gonna lie. I'm like the best chef probably ever in the world, ever in existence. If you enjoyed this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me try cooking next. What else I can butcher. And to all the real chefs out there, I apologize for my uh, monstrosities. <laughs> Squats went amazing today. We're two weeks out from this meet, so I plan to work up to my opener in my second attempt weight. Um, obviously, you don't glue these numbers into your head because you want to base all your attempts on how you're feeling the day of your meet, but I like to have a rough guideline to aim for mentally. It keeps me driven. So I worked up to my opener of 515 pounds, and this could vary to 500, 505, 515, whatever, but uh, this is what I aim for, and it moved pretty damn good. I didn't get hyped up for it or anything. I saved that for my second attempt, which is 545 pounds. Just five pounds shy of my all-time max. The goal is to move this weight at like an RPE eight with a little bit more in the tank. Keep in mind, I have two more weeks of peaking left to do, so this should move even better by meat day. So I'm pretty damn happy with that. That moved exactly how I was hoping it would. That's, that's exactly what I wanted for today. So that's awesome. Um, this is the least confident in myself that I've been in a very long time when it comes to lifting because of how bad my training's been going all winter. Um, I'm definitely not where I thought I would be back in like the fall at this time of year, but it is what it is. Just gotta keep plugging away. I was so unconfident in myself that even loading up 545, I was thinking that I was probably gonna fail it and should probably just try going lighter. Like, that's bad, that's not my normal self, that's not me. So, glad I was able to man up, snap out of it, get out of my own head, and just go for it. Cause you just gotta keep moving forward. <laughs>
What are you training today? Oh, don't don't run away. Don't don't don't, don't run away. Love me. Yes. It's like dog heaven in here. Got two dogs now. So definitely a little disappointed about my bench today and just in general. I'm starting to think it's just under peaked because um, the weight all feels really good up until about mid 300s. Like 365 feels good. It's, as soon as I bump higher than that, like 385, just feels heavy in my hands and foreign. And in my experience, that feels like not being peaked. Your CNS isn't primed to handle that heavy a weight yet, which is annoying because we're kind of out of time. It is what it is. Um, I've had bad days, obviously, like we all have with benching, and it's not the same thing when you feel weak. Like when I feel weak personally, I can tell right away. 225 feels off. Even like warming up the bar, my joints don't feel right. If it's just like a weak day, everything feels weak. But everything is firing amazingly, 315, 365. It's just once I get past that point. So maybe I can throw in some singles uh, throughout the week, try to prime myself a little bit faster, kick up the, the peak there. I don't know, man. I don't think we're going to even hit 400 pounds at this meet on the bench, which is aggravating. Um, and squats obviously went very well today. Um, but training in general just hasn't really gone well this winter. This has been a very rough winter for me. And none of my numbers are where I had projected them to be back in like the end of summer and fall based on how training was going back then. Because training was flying. It was climbing exceptionally fast back then. It was smooth sailing. So I, I had plans for a bit higher numbers at this time of year but it is what it is gotta roll with the punches and just keep moving hey so i don't know if any of you guys noticed but my last video that i put up epic meal time i had to take it down because i got nailed for copyright like pretty quickly after it went up so i re-uploaded it the next morning but when you re-upload a video, it really messes up its circulation. Like, it doesn't get recirculated back in the subscription box in the normal way. People get confused because they thought they saw that already. But So, it didn't get any views. Like, none. Like, it just did not get seen. Like, even compared to my regular low views, this just did not get seen. So, I wanted to give you guys the heads up. Also, wanted to ask you guys a favor. If you support me and you want to help me out and support me, if you could just go to that video, if you don't mind, and give it a thumbs up. Just give it a like and that'll help bump it up and should get it seen. I've linked the video in the info box below for you. Sadly, that is one video that I really hoped would get seen because I had a lot of fun editing that one. Like That one just has some fun, badass editing in it, especially in the gym scenes. So I'm kind of disappointed that that was the video that had to get nailed for copyright. And it also has a cool cooking recipe in it too. And that's not the whole entire video despite the title. I think you guys really like that video. That's one video I wish didn't get messed up. <laughs> so if you guys want to support, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.